Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture series of waste management. In this video, you are going to discuss what is the significance of case study and uh, how about the case studies of waste management in the city Bangalore. We are going to have a brief discussion about brief discussion about the case study and the significance of case study and how uh, the waste management is impacting in Bangalore city. Are they successful or not in the domain of waste management? We are going to have a brief outlook for this particular topic. First of all, we'll discuss about the need for case study and what is a case study. Yes, a case study is a in-depth, detailed examination of a particular case within the real world context. It should be real time. It's not just like imaginary, it should be a real time. Okay, uh, also it, it is a detailed study of a specific subject such as a person, group, place, event, organization, or phenomenon. That is actually the significance of case study. By understanding the case study, definitely we will come to know whether the organization is successful or failure. We can able to understand. That is the significance of case study. Suppose I want to start a business. It is always better to have a case study of various business organization who faced some, some domain. Uh, they are successful on the opposite hand. They may be having the failure. So it is better to have the idea about how they are successful or what is the reason for failure? We'll be getting so many questions if you conduct the case study. Okay. As you can observe, uh, we are going to study uh, a case study of uh, Bangalore city. You can see uh, the typical pictures of, of an overview of the particular, some views of a particular city, okay, you can see here. And uh, conversely, if you are talking about the waste management, you can see these, uh, these pictures uh, and uh, this reveals a bit of failure or mismanagement in the waste. But there are a lot of uh, plus points or there are a lot of pros in the waste management of uh, Bangalore Municipal Corporation that also we are going to identify. So overall presentation is segmented into overview, then establishment of the solid waste management, sources of solid waste, composition of solid waste, ultimately methods of solid waste management. So moving on to the discussion, we are going to provide overview of Bangalore city first. Uh, you know that uh, Bangalore is also known as one of the garden city in our country, in India. And uh, it is one of the sixth largest city. It's a metropolitan city, you know, because the number of pollution is increasing day by day. There are more IT sectors, IT industries. Okay. There are more investment that is happening in Bangalore. So there are more number of people. Uh, the community is getting increased day by day. Even uh, the population density is also getting increased day by day. That is another remarkable fact. The average elevation is 900 meters above the sea level. And uh, the city, uh, the moderate rainfall, it's around 900 uh, millimeter. The moderate average rainfall is around 900 millimeter. Also, we can say about like a local planning area of 500 uh, kilometers square. Uh, also, we can say like uh, the population uh, in the year of 1991 was around uh, 4.16 million. Uh, but now uh, it, it has grown up to 6 million that we can say that there are more number of people are coming to Bangalore because of like uh, it's a uh, uh, the, regarding the uh, weather based on the weather based on the opportunity because people are coming more and more in Bangalore. The city has a uh, floating population over uh, 0.5 million. I mean uh, like it's a floating population like a 0.5 million is, uh, like uh, people are actually temporarily visiting in Bangalore for doing the job etc. Okay. So these are the basic information about the Bangalore city. So moving on to the discussion, the establishment of the solid waste management. So what about the solid waste management in Bangalore? We are mainly focusing on the solid waste management in uh, Bangalore. Actually, if I talk about the solid waste management, who is going to take care of the solid waste management? So Bangalore uh, Mahanagra Palige, short form is BMP. It is one of the uh, like uh, organization uh, who is going to take care of like uh, maintenance, uh, the waste management of the city. It is also known as Bangalore Municipal, uh, Bangalore City Corporation, BCC. Okay. Uh, it is working with the non-governmental and voluntary organizations of all stakeholders in the participatory approach. BMP is striving for the improvement of suggestion towards the improvement in waste management. BMP is taking care of the waste management in Bangalore City. They are uh, trying their best to manage the waste effectively. But in any system, there are pros and cons that we are going to hide. That, that is what I, I have shown some pictures at the beginning. Okay, there are pros and cons that we are going to inspect. So uh, there, the, like uh, 
they are adopting various strategy there are engineering departments are supporting for managing the bmp in the domain of waste management also they are trying to clean the streets emptying the dustbin transportation of waste maintaining the transfer station burning like a uh, combustion everything they are going to take care okay these are the responsibility and uh, they are trying uh, in their level best for maintaining all the things in a better manner so moving on to the further discussion uh, the waste generation uh, the bangalore produces over 2500 tons of solid waste per day uh, then uh, the average uh, waste it is actually 0.5 kg per day okay uh, for uh, like per capita of the waste is around 0.5 kg per day that is another uh, remarkable fact okay now we can say about uh, sources of waste so most of the wastes are coming from uh, household then even markets and other places also impacting on the major so production of waste then regarding the composition uh, like uh, 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 pulterizable waste in the sense like uh, most of the like a uh, carbohydrate based waste almost 75% uh, of the bio waste is getting generated almost 75% most of the waste are from bio 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 waste biodegradable waste only it's around 75% there are different methods of solid waste management adopted by BMP one is efficient transportation skill labor systematic waste segregation everything they are doing great okay they're trying their level best so, but unfortunately, we found that there are 401 slum pockets in Bangalore uh, directly and indirectly, which is uh, locating all around the city. Uh, also, uh, like if I talk about uh, overall Karnataka, it's almost uh, uh, 273 slums. In that, 64 slums are belong to Bangalore only. 15% of the city populations are living in the slum area. That is one of the remarkable facts. Uh, because of that, the people are facing health and health impact. Also, in the various locations of slums are especially at the curry pits uh, tank beds la like low lying areas railway lines etc these are the another uh, remarkable fact even we have in bangalore we have 12 large vegetable and food markets that is one of the major source of uh, by production of bio waste uh, even uh, like uh, 150 tons of waste are producing daily in that particular market that is another remarkable fact Large quantities of waste are getting generated from the like uh, apartments, uh, food packing industries, and the cold and storage facility. These are these are also other remarkable facts of uh, uh, Bangalore city. So in this session, we have discussed about uh, uh, like uh, whether uh, the Bangalore city is doing good or not. Of course, Bangalore city is doing good regarding the solid waste management, but still there are some improvement. Like uh, the things has to be improved, but uh, still they are doing great in the domain of. Uh, solid waste management that is a remarkable fact we can understand from the study so first we understood what is the importance of case study and uh, we discussed about whenever you are discussing a case study of a particular place you need to describe the location the features the like the speciality how many people are living okay uh, who is the authority for taking the particular management system you have to explain later on you can explain with the help of various data which i which i briefly explained here Okay, so finally, we'll come to know the successful and the failure. Like a failure is actually a lot of slum is generated. Okay, slum area has been generated. So people are you know, negatively impacting because of the slum, that some slum area. Okay, those who are living in that slum area condition is not that much good. Uh, also, like uh, uh, diseases, spreading of disease vectors that is happening in the slum area. That is another uh, remarkable fact you have to remember. So apart from that, uh, there are more successful more number of employees are there there are more transportation system like a compactor vehicle and a non-compactor vehicle uh, the entire system is actually going good for striving they are striving for the improvement or they are trying for the improvement in the waste management these are the things which you can understand from the case study you can add a few more information you can have a case study on your own place where you are living and you can understand the success and failure uh, regarding the waste management let me know if you have any questions. You can kindly put up in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. If you are watching the video first time, I request I request everybody to share, uh, subscribe this particular channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.